look at logs properties, there's some misconceptions that people have and they're very, very common. All five of these are the most common misconceptions that students have. And so if I take a test or if I grade tests, these are the five errors I see the most. So let's see if we can cut them off at the knees here and, and uh, take care of this early. Anybody see with number one where the error is? Yeah, Jack. Uh, where? First part. Correct. So what you're going to do here is you're going to, to fix it, x times y. That allows us, if we're multiplying what's in the function, we can split into two logs. Everything has to happen within the function. Let's jump down to number three. Yeah, Jack. Um, I have log base 10 of x minus. Minus log base 10 of y. Perfect. And you scratch this out. And you did that because inside the function we're dividing, so we can split that into two logs as subtracting. Nice. Good. Any questions on those or comments? Harini, what did you get for a two? Yeah, this is the same as if you pull this three out in front, you'll get, did you say three? Because this power is three. Oh, okay. Three log base two of x. And the common error here is that x cubed is the same as log cubed. Those are totally different things. It's like hitting your log button and then hitting point three squared or just taking the log of point three and squaring it. Totally different. So this is not correct. Again, going back, you can operate on things inside the parentheses. Anything outside has different rules. All right, uh, how about number four? Anybody get four? Yeah. No answer for this one? So one solution is no answer. Can somebody else give me a correction? There's another one. Alex, did you get one? Of 13 is equal to 1. That'll work. So that's good. And there's one other way you can look at this one. Yeah, Sarah? Switch the 0 and the 1, and now it's log base 13 of 1 equals 0. Perfect. And then there's one more here. This one is probably the most confusing unless you do something with this 5. What can I do with this 5? Put it into this exponent. So we have 3 log base 3 of x to the fifth is equal to something. Let's call it y. So how many of you are confused on this one? Yeah, it's a little confusing. Hannah, how can I change this into a log form? Oh, in the back. So this is an exponent right now. 3 to this exponent equals y. Change it into log form. Log base. What's the base of this thing? What's the base? 3. And so log base 3 of y will be equal to the exponent. Log base 3 of x to the fifth. Now x to the fifth is kind of in its little function there. So if you look at those, what matches then? Aha! Y matches with x to the fifth. So how can we fix this number five? Instead of 5x, what should we call it? x to the fifth. Good. How are we doing? Is that all right for those? Uh, let's do one, one more piece here. I think you get this, but maybe not. Log base 3 of x squared. Okay. When I put that in parentheses, log base 3 of x squared, isn't that the same as log base 3 of x times x? Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. And would you agree that this multiplication 
of x and x in the function, how could I write that as a different log? How could I break this up? You got it. And there's now how many log base 3 of x's are there? There's two of them. So if there's two of them, you see how the short, this is a shortcut. I can pull this out in front or I can pull it back into the exponent. Okay, that's what I did here. So you can you know, always pull those exponents in front because of that, those two properties. So check.